the guru of Squad Double Zero, the assassin I know the yes, I'm the best at what I do, is here to bring you at Gotham Episode 3, y'all. Now, I gotta say, man, I understand the slave and blah, blah. I didn't get to see these this week's episodes till like Saturday, okay? So that's why this view is so late. Um, but Gotham, man. Where to start? Where to start? Let me start with this this dumb lady. Yo, she she's going to be a dumbass. She's either gonna, something's gonna happen. I'm talking about the female detective from the Special Crimes Unit, and it's funny because later on in the series, um, later on in the story of Batman, Special Crimes Unit is known to be you know, corrupt and crooked as hell. But anyways, like yo, her and Barbara apparently had a former lesbian relationship. That's the, what we were getting at the hints that was wrong. That's the relationship. And she seems to be sperm, sperm lover. Apparently she was a liar and cheater. But, uh, I mean, either one of two things. She's going to come crooked as hell. She's going to get mugged before she's a hot father. Because she, she blabs. She talks too much. Or she become a villain. Who knows? But, yo, she, she's trying to cloud the mind of her father. Trying to get off of Jim. Because she... Bob loves Jim Gordon. Detective at this time, not commissioner. That's for later. Um, yeah, speaking of Jim Gordon, this dude questioned about justice. And he sees how sick, depraved, and, you know, uh, how deep into the darkness to down the rabbit hole uh, City of Gotham is. We see the opening scene with the penguin being that uh, Oswald Cromwell. Cockle uh, uh, Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, Penguin, he comes back into the city, and we just see about uh, four different immoral situations. You know, you got prostitutes on the street, you got about two cases of theft. I mean, this, this dude, oh, Cobblepot, excuse me, Oswald Cobb, uh, yeah, Oswald Cobblepot. Yo, Penguin, this dude, one time, this is one of the times he was justified in mugging a fool. This dude tried, this truly tried to offer him because he knew about fish moving. That blade, that switchblade, bow, bow. Gotta bust back to the city. Got something to eat. Yo, the penguin going to end the ending of the episode. Going to Jim Gordon's crib, dog. What? What? Yo. So what's about to happen there is going to be very interesting. I was a bit surprised. I'm not going to front. I'm not going to front. I was not expecting that. But uh, I also got to say, some of, these, some of these villains now, Selena Kyle, I guess, is not that much older than Bruce Wayne at this point. But some of these, I thought, would be closer to Bruce's age. Like, Poison Ivy, apparently, she, she's young. Uh, well, we haven't seen the Joker. Oh, River? Eh, I, guess, I guess most of them are about the right age or whatever. But it's, it's just interesting. I love how they focus on the penguin because people don't know. Yo, they doing this. They on point. I'm telling you. I've been saying they're on point with the penguin. This dude's ruthless. This dude doesn't give it. Like, this dude is that kind of... He's a killer. He's a straight-up killer. He, he's a mastermind kind of thing, okay? We're seeing the way that the uh, Bruce is being shaped. Uh, the vigilante thing. The vigilante. Okay. His whole thing about getting pushed by Alfred. And I'm guessing he's being homeschooled and probably taught. Alfred's teaching him as a mentor. And we see the aggression of Bruce. We see that his view on uh, the establishment of the non-killing rule. Uh, this is only one rule. I I would sent and watch rewatch the, the scene in the dark night with him and the Joker uh, in in the interrogation room. Uh, and he said uh, it's a criminal because he killed. Now this dude, Harvey Detective Harvey, this dude is all of yo. This dude's so much. He's gonna go good but I mean he's not as dirty as some of these other cops like for example one of the, the detective or the captain or what lieutenant lieutenant that got murked he had a I can't say assassinated but he had, he got put away justly so this dude was scum was you could say scum but yeah this dude was vile um, and now I'll get to the to the others in a second but um Harvey's interesting very interesting um, in his connections with the Gotham's underworld. Will he become mm, probably not a villain? But watch out for that. Uh, we didn't see the Riddler Enigma in this one. Um, Selena Kyle was interesting. She, she's slick as a mug. She knows how to get away. She's thief. Her skill level is on point. Uh, 
but you can see the developments of Catelyn. She's very intelligent as well for you. For this young lady is very intelligent. Excuse me. Uh, what, what more? What more to be said? The Balloon Man. Now, his attacking Jim Gordon. He he really pushed Jim Gordon in the questions of what is just, and he was he was celebrated and embraced by Goth, the vigilante. Okay. For good reason. He took out first the uh, the Ponzi scheme dude. Took a bunch of money. Okay, he took them out and he just sent them up in the air with these balloons and eventually they would fall. But uh the balloons would pop. Uh he took out the the crooked lieutenant and then he took out the pedophilia priest who we did not see. But um who else he was gonna take out it didn't really matter because the whole city's corrupt. It's it's uh it they're doing this phenomenally with the, the portrayal of Gotham. I'm absolutely loving it. The, the, the darkness of the city, I mean the mood of the city, the atmosphere, the, the intensity, okay? It, this, this episode was intense. Um, you know, Fish Moon, oh, Jada Pinkus, yo, she is playing, gotta clap it up, she's playing uh, Fish Moon very well, but Fish Moon, the game's being played, okay? Her, her trying to maneuver her way and eventually take out Don, uh, what what she say, Fal Carmine Falcone? Okay. How she's gonna do it, if she's gonna be able to do it, we'll see. And she's a you if she no longer has use for you, she gets rid of you. The penguin, he's eyeing Don Warning. Yes. Yo, this dude is a very penguin is very opportunistic. Okay. Very smart in that in that concern. Uh, anything else of significant importance? Selena Kyle kind of describes what happened in the murder. Uh, so she she she's still being kept out. I mean, she escapes for now, but we'll see what future dealings she has with Jim. Okay. Uh, anything else? Barbara Gordon. It'll be interesting to see how how what transpires. And yo, Jim was beat up. Like, like is it three about three different times? This dude could could be dead already. Early in the season, yo, that fall he took. I mean, that one guy was put out commission, but uh, yo, it's getting it's getting crazy. Gotham, Gotham's living up. Gotham's living up to uh, the title as well, and it's the way the way that they're doing and introducing, you know, different characters, backstories, and intertwining is doing exquisitely in that concern. What exactly will happen next? Who will be the next um, antagonist? It's hard to say. Jim is still falling. Or, oh yeah, Bruce wouldn't eat for a while. And not until after this dude. Again, we, we've seen the beginnings of Batman. Will he eventually get, will they show his um, training under the, the League of Shadows, you know, League of Assassins, the League of Shadows? We'll see what they're doing down the line. But yeah, this this dude, you know, Bruce is concerned about the city of Gotham. He's considered about justice, about goodness, about he's like he's already has thoughts about eventually catching the killer because he's like he's not sure Jim Gordon can catch him. And Jim Gordon has a problem with being called a hero, but the, the, the true killer of the Waynes doesn't has not been brought to justice yet. So unexpected one when I come to subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Chapter nine point five is an amazing chapter. Plot progression could have been a little bit more so, but otherwise, like I said, it, you know, characterization, character development was there. All the great aspects you can look for in, this, uh, in an episode was there. So, until next time, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night, peace.